What's up and welcome to another Gymshark launch review, the ultimate review, and we have got a crap load of stuff to get through. So we're gonna do this snappily, we're gonna do this quickly. Snappily? Snappily? Is that even a word? So I'm gonna blast through each of these, I'm gonna go from tops to hoodies to bottoms. These are my standard measurements and these are my standard sizes for garments. Remember this. Also, the link in the description right below this video will take you straight through to this launch but that link also lets them know that you've come through from my channel and directly supports me. So if you want to help support your boy, just hit that link and it'll track you through for the next 30 days for any purchases that you make, directly comes back through and tracks back to me and lets Jim Sharp know that you've come through from Lex. So, cheers. It goes live at 7pm. Let me double check that. Yep, 7pm. Says it on the Gymshark Instagram. Sweet! And the fact that these are going to be like a loungewear day-to-day -day wear is a big deal because the men's side of the Gymshark range has been waiting for this for a while. But this is full-on loungewear awesome acid wash kick-ass kit. So the two main ones for this launch are going to be the acid wash and the construction as well as some of my favourites which are the jacquard. So pay attention to those ones because they're the ones that are going to launch big and go fast. So I'm going to be covering everything that I can as quickly as I can in three, two, one, go. So kicking it off with this new lifestyle range, this is the Acid Wash t-shirts, little lifestyle logo down on the bottom here. It's a raw hem, but it is overlocked, so it will curl at the bottom, but it won't keep curling. Same applies to the arms, so you see you get this nice roll on the sleeves. This is a size medium, it is a long line fit. So you can probably go a size down in this and you'll still keep the length if you want to fit snug. Otherwise, I'm a medium in most normal t-shirts. This is a medium. Uh, going up to large, I think will be a little bit baggy on the waist. These also come in a drop arm version. And these are just as good, same medium. They have a nice deep cut down the side here, but don't expose the nipples because they're not cut too shallow. But they do show the shoulders off nicely. A little bit of that chest. Medium, fits just the same, same length. It's exactly the same as a t-shirt just been chopped. So the other big launch is this construction range here and this is the short sleeve t-shirt, raglan sleeve. It's, this one is a very neat and clean cut. It has some texturizing seam work on it. So you can see on the back and to the sides, some asymmetric seam work going on. Curved hem, this is a medium again but this is definitely a tighter fit than the acid wash. Acid wash fits more like a standard cotton. This one fits more like a bit of a, more of a, a stretch fit, but you could definitely go a size up. I could definitely wear a large in this. The arms are sitting quite tight on the medium. So something to think about there. I'd say if you want to go for a little bit more of a less kind of skin tight look on the construction, you can go a size up in the tees. Then moving on to the unwind short sleeve t-shirt. Now this one, if you've ever had an organic cotton, like a waffle design cotton finish, that's what this feels like. It is a thicker material, but it's a relaxed fit, so much more like the acid wash. The lifestyle logo on the bottom here. We've got a straight cut hem, just like on the acid wash, whereas the construct had the curved hem. This one fits true to size, more of a relaxed fit like the acid wash, whereas the construct has that tighter fit. One more t-shirt to take a look at now. In keeping in that lifestyle range, this is the short sleeve city tee, which has a little out a pocket on it. So ignore the little pointy bits on the shoulders there, that'll go with your first wash, but we do have a little front pocket here, which split hem on the bottom of this, that lifestyle logo there. It is a straight cut split hem, normal cotton fit, medium seems to be fine, I wouldn't dope a size in this, I'd keep it as a standard, medium fits perfect. So that's t-shirts done, let's move on to the hoodies, and as far as I'm aware, all of these are pullover versions for these hoodies, so none of them have one of those zippity dippity doodah days. So kicking it off with the acid wash again, a size medium. We have the Gymshark logo up on the hood here. This is a nice three panel hood, one, two, three. So that means that you get that nice head, squared headed fit instead of the gnome look. Working drawstrings. And because it's that acid wash effect, you get some really cool contrasted seam coloration. So when you're moving around, that's pretty cool. A kangaroo pocket, elasticated waist, waistband? Yeah, elasticated waistband. Same with the cuffs. This is a size medium and it fits me really well. Now I'd often be in a large in hoodies, but this is a very heavyweight, thick, real kind of, I don't know, homely quality. I love it, absolutely love it. And medium fits me perfectly fine. So I would say you do not need to size up on these hoodies. Uh, go as a standard, maybe even if you want them with this nice fitted gun hugging style, you could probably go a size down because the length on these is pretty substantial. So you're not gonna lose that body length or comfort factor if you want to size down. If you want it a bit baggy, go for that large. 
Next in line, that Construct hoodie with that same raglan sleeve, but with some cross shoulder seam detailing here. Lifestyle logo, working drawstrings, same logo position here. On the hood, we again have that three paneled hood for that same fitment, but now the body on this is definitely much more fitted. We have, I don't know if you call it a kangaroo pouch pocket. So it's quite a unique one, but secure with that hidden zip and no bulging when you stand from the side. Asymmetrical seam lines for detail. Cuffs here are not elasticated as such, but they do have a definite overlocked finishing point. So not much given those cuffs if you've got the big hands. And the same goes for when putting it on here, the seams along the side, they're quite tight to keep this in a fitted shape. So as you get into it, it's much more stiff than what's going to be the other hoodies that you see here, like the acid wash and the uh, jacquard. So this one you could probably size up if you want more of that comfort hoodie fit. I could definitely wear a large in this. Whereas if I want it more gun hugging and possibly for training in to keep it tight and fitted, then I'm gonna go for the medium. You can see here the difference. This isn't like a, a heavyweight cotton. This is much more of like a, a neoprene feel to it. So more of a polyester cotton blend. So a little bit of a different, smoother, less textured feel to the whole hoodie as a whole. Oh. Yeah, you, you can definitely go size up in these ones. Oh. Right, carry on. Moving on to the jacquard, and this is one of my favorites. It's a similar feel to that kind of unwind t-shirt. We have that three panel hoodie at the top, but we have toggle drawstrings plus raglan sleeves on a short sleeve. So for me, this is great because I don't often like to train in the full length sleeves hoodies. I get too hot too quickly, but I like to stay warm because it reduces injury. So this, the short sleeve version, one, casually it looks cool for just rocking around in and you don't have to sacrifice showing off those guns with a casual, uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What's, that? What, what's that? Which way to the toilets? Well, you can either go to the ones that are over there or you can go over to the ones at the back. But what I would recommend is to just stay right here and hold it for all the goodness. It is more of a longer line, so we've got that ability to size down if you want it to fit a little tighter and fit like a T. We also have hidden zip, and this is actually a hidden kind of mobile pocket. Idea being, you put your mobile in here, it sits just out the way so that you can train without smashing it. Nice little touch. There is no hidden zip on the other side. We don't have any pockets here, so this is a bit more of a t-shirt style hoodie fit to it. It's a thinner material. It does have some stretch and give to it. And that is the jacquard, and I'm wearing the clear water one here because this is my favorite, but as with all of these, they all come in a variation. in different colors as long as you're standard black and grays. Final pullover to look at here, and it's a bit of a different kettle of fish, and that is the Stealth Ranger. But this is more of a kind of all-weather, training performance gear. Comes in that three paneled hoodie, toggled drawstrings. So this was sent to me in a medium again. You can see that zip length. It is still a pullover, but it does come quite the way down. The zippable hidden pockets on the side, and that's on both. So we have a kangaroo joining central pocket with a zip open as either side. I think this one has running in mind because we've got that zip release here, here, which allows for much more of that kind of without any of the hem jumping and buffeting and moving around and getting on your nerves. Fancy smanchy on the cuffs. We have Velcro wrap around cuffs. So again, if it's windy, you wanna keep it tight, you can wrap that around even my 12 year old girl wrists and it will completely seal the wrist. So a really nice piece of performance gear, definitely not one for lounging around in. This one is for getting outside, kicking some ass, taking on a bit of that British weather and uh, looking slick while doing it. That's the stealth range in a medium. And a medium fits me fine like this, but my only issue when it comes to wearing something that's fitted that doesn't have stretching, goes on fine. But because the seams are tight here to keep that fit, if you do get them like that, it's gonna be a little, a little bit of a workout getting them off. All right, that's all. Next up, we are moving on to the tracksuit buttons. Now give me my biscuit. Right, starting out with the acid wash in tracksuit bottoms, and these are 100% gonna be some of the favorite releases of this year. Lounge fit, non-zipped pockets, little label right here. That's all you see. Slight drop crotch so they're not ball hugging. Cuffed hems, yes, finally. Cuffed hems to make sure that it tapers towards the bottom. We've got a drawstring that works and a relatively 
relatively wide waistband at the top so you can wear these sitting nice and low on the hips. Seam detailed, almost looking like it's a fly to give it that almost like pants kind of style to it. Woo! And just generally this is gonna be one of my favorite rocked them in, out of the gym, city. Rock these with some cool trainers, good t-shirt, maybe a bandana, maybe grow a bit of a beard. <laughs> so these come in a variety of different colors. I think we have the black, the gray, and the blue. So make sure that you get these quick. I've got these in a size medium. I am a 30 waist with a 32 inch leg as a standard. And I tend to get mediums in most of the Gymshark things other than the previous drop crotch things. I used to get them in a small. And that was because you could get away with it because of the drop crotch. But it meant that the ankles got smaller and I could hitch them up a little bit and they would stay hitched up and then that'd be a cool fit. But with these, because we have the cuffed ankles, I don't need it. I can wear a real size medium which is what I should have been all along. Keeping it alive in that kind of streetwear theme, we also have these new cargo pants. Now, these again have that lifestyle logo, cargo pockets on the sides, which actually do have pockets to them, they're not stitched shut. They have a similar drop crotch fit to the acid wash, but these are definitely a tighter fit from kind of the top of the thigh down. Whereas the acid wash ones, they keep a lot more of the drop crotch bag coming down towards the knee. These cut in much sooner. Again, we've got hidden pockets as you see on a lot of that lifestyle wear. Nice quality, heavy duty pair of cargo pants. But the benefit of these is they also have a bit of stretch and give to them. So when we're moving around, that means that we're not getting caught and that drop crotch doesn't hinder us climbing stairs cuffed ankles and they definitely cut in around the calves way more than the acid wash ones do. So if you're looking for something that's streetwear but slimmer cut, bit tighter, a bit more tapered, then these cargo pants are definitely the ones for you. If you want them to fit a little looser, if you want them to fit like those acid wash, go a size up 100%. Coming in a couple of colours, different colours, but whoo, what a step up. These are called the flat lock, a slight drop crotch. We've got hidden pockets with an overlap here, but these are a lightweight performance piece of kit. So we've got a zipped ankle. Those zips sit to the back of the ankle here. And when I say tapered, they're really not messing around here. They almost come in with a legging-like grip towards that bottom part of the leg, but then leave all that movability and breathability up top. So these are a very, very unique cut, but if you have wide ankles and you're normally a medium, if you don't like things super, super tight, you could probably size up on these and you'd be absolutely fine. Because of the way they taper in towards the bottom, even going a size larger, all that's gonna do is create a little bit more ruffle at the knee. Now last but definitely not least, we still have some of those summer months left and that warrants one more pair of shorts. We have some loungewear shorts that drop perfectly just on the knee. For me, when things sit a little bit higher, they, I don't know, it just doesn't look as good. This, in a medium, is an absolute perfect length for me. It sits well, it makes the rest of your legs look good, they're comfortable. We do have a very slight drop crotch on here. We've got the same exact detailing all up the top, waistband, drawstring, little hint of that stitched in fake fly that the acid wash pants have, but in a short. That's everything covered for the 7 p.m. release today, so make sure to hit that link below and get that page preloaded and ready to rock and roll. Plus, using that link will directly support this channel, so thank you very much in advance. Remember, this is the information about me that I've gone on off today. They were all mediums that I sent through, and listen to what I said about the sizing, and hopefully you'll be able to get the exact one you want and not miss out on this launch, because this is the first of its type for this kind of style of streetwear and the level of perfection they've created with these lines. These are 100% the best ones and they will sell out. So I hope this has helped you get the ones you want and get you ready for that launch. Next video you'll see from me will be another of those masterclass videos. I'm doing a series which takes every exercise in the gym individually and breaks it down for you in hopefully around about three minutes so that they're simple and quick to watch, packed with information. And by the end of the time that we're done with that series, you'll have a full library versed in how to do every single exercise that you need. So hit me up in the comment section below with ones that we haven't done already. The next one you'll see will be a shoulder press with dumbbells. And there's a couple of key little movements in here that will absolutely revolutionize the way that exercise feels to you. So until then, I've been Lex. The link for everything you need in the description below. Thanks for all the support. I'll catch you in the next video and I'll leave you with one of these. Boom, baby!